What? The unknown soldier. All the work gets On undone. On the 11th of November, 1921, oh, the remains of an unknown. Hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to react to why you never mess with the guard of the tomb of the unknown soldier. And the last video that we saw of this regarding this was like how these like how this ceremony happens and like everybody is silent and like how this uh, like salute all the uh, all the unknown soldiers of the world war one and who have given their lives and this is very like this was very like moving to me because like saluting all those guys that have given their lives and you have their body is one thing and like you don't know that they are dead or not and you don't even have their body mm -hmm. and remains and even then you are guarding those, their tombs and you are respecting them every day and this is open for 24 7 and they guard it for 24 7 so that is a very respectable thing to do yes exactly the previous video was really very much you know a, a video of pride that they are guarding uh, some people some soldiers like this and it the previous video also showed that uh, it requires a lot of training it requires a lot of time efforts energy training everything and maybe this is what we are going to watch in this video and it is said that you should never mess with them so it is obvious like we have watched in previous video that how much disciplined they were how much mannerful they were that they won't even you know tolerate a single thing here or there they just want everything to be perfect so obviously it is obviously and after all they are soldiers so soldiers are the bravest amongst all so we should never nobody should watch with such uh, should mess with such people so let's, uh, now let's watch that what is there in this video yeah the question that was arising in my mind was like why will someone want to mess with them <laughs> like are they like numb or dumb asses like what they are like why will they ever want to mess with the guys like who have rifles with them and who have so such a good yes. body and physique i don't think so they should ever mess with them so why you should never mess with them so let's watch this video the tomb of the unknown soldier is one of the most continuously guarded monuments in the world it's patrolled 24 hours a day 365 days a year regardless of the weather by an elite regiment of soldiers known as sentinels these sentinels are highly so trained specialists in superb rainy. physical condition ready at a Dude, moment's notice to defend the there. honor of fallen war heroes so what makes the old guard of the tomb of the unknown soldier so feared and respected and what happens when people push the boundaries and try to mess with one of the guards let's Let's find out. Hmm. The Old Guard is essentially ceremonial special forces, and despite their seemingly mundane job, they represent the very best of the best the army can offer. It's so elite that less than 20% of all volunteers are accepted for training, wow. and of those, only a fraction pass training to become fully-fledged tomb guards. In fact, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Guard Identification Badge is the third least awarded badge in the entire United States oh Army, my behind God. military horseman ID badges and astronaut badges. To become a tomb guard, an old guard soldier must volunteer by applying for appointment to the tomb through the sergeant of the guard. To be considered for an appointment, the soldier must be highly motivated and disciplined, and possess a strong military bearing and soldierly appearance. If appointed, the soldier is assigned to the tomb for an initial two-week training period. Upon reporting to a relief, the trainee is assigned a tomb guard trainer. The trainer informs the trainee of what is expected of them, including following strict rules, training guidelines, and the need for complete dedication and commitment to the tomb. The training cycle is intense, consisting of a series of five exhaustive tests over six to twelve months. These and tests focus on ceremonial soldiers. performance, uniform preparation, and knowledge. If the trainee completes the training cycle and passes the tests, they are able to flawlessly conduct seven different types of ceremonies, meet the highest standards of uniform preparation, and recite 35 pages of information without error. If the trainee fails any tests, they are assigned back to their company. The successful trainee is awarded the Tomb Guard Identification like, Badge and will even be from then on page. referred to as a Tomb Guard or badge Without holder by their fellow yeah. Sentinels. Demonstrating how serious a role this is considered to be, the Tomb Guard Identification Badge is the only military badge that can be revoked for any action that brings disrespect to the tomb. 
What? The unknown soldier. All the work gets On undone. the 11th of November, 1921, the remains of an unknown American soldier were returned from the battlefields of France. Unidentified remains weren't uncommon during World War One, and without DNA profiling or reliable ways to match the list of missing soldiers with the discovered corpses, many bodies were simply marked as unknown. For this reason, the U.S. government approved the construction of a memorial in the Arlington National Cemetery wow. in Virginia, United States. This would be the final resting place of the returned unknown soldier and would serve as a monument to all deceased military personnel who were either lost or the remains never identified. The remains of the unknown soldier were interred beneath a three-level white marble tomb covered in a stone slab. Intricate carvings decorate the sides, including wreaths and figures representing peace, victory, and valor. The rear of the sarcophagus includes an inscription which reads, Here rests in honored glory an American soldier known but to God. Wow. Why you shouldn't mess with a tomb guard. And this While is the, the main role point. of the Sentinel is mostly ceremonial, mm. there are some things you just don't do when visiting the tomb of the unknown soldier. The old guards will appear strong and silent, that is, until you break one of their rules. Cross over the barrier into the plaza, and you'll probably hear this. It is requested that all visitors remain behind the changing rails at all times. Why will they break the rules, man? Stay behind the changing rails! So commanding it is, boys. Behind the chain and rail. Respect and silence is required at all times. If you're being loud, rude, and obnoxious, you'll likely get this response. Remain standing for this ceremony. It is requested that everyone maintains a level of silence and respect. Wow. It the is important that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. These sentinels are very similar to the Queen's Guard at Buckingham Palace. Yeah, However, they aren't different. trained to remain still at all times. Get too close and the sentinels will gladly point their M14 rifle straight at you. <laughs> they aren't messing about. Oh my god. Day in the life of a tomb guard. The old guard is wow. made up of three tomb squads or reliefs, numbered first through to third. Unlike traditional army units, tomb reliefs are organized based on height, so that the tomb guards are similar in size during the changing of the guard. The three reliefs are on duty, utilizing 24-hour rotating shifts. A tomb guard's day begins at 5 a.m., with arrival at the tomb quarters 1 for duty. The tomb guards will inspect the quarters, prepare their uniforms, review orders, and receive their duty assignments for the coming day. At 6 30 a.m., the tomb guards inspect the trainee's readiness and uniforms. If a trainee wow. meets relevant standards, the tomb guard may allow them to walk the first morning guard change known as bolo at 7 a.m. The evening bolo will be the final change and walk of the day. During the hours of the day, the Arlington National Cemetery is open to visitors. The tomb guards will perform several changing of the guard and wreath laying ceremonies and walking the mat. During summer hours, the changing of the guard ceremony takes place every half hour, and during winter hours, every hour. Hour. Although all wow. walks are important, the most coveted walk for a tomb guard is the midday noon moon walk. During the same time, the trainees perform mirror time, conduct uniform preparation, study knowledge, check in wreaths, and alert the tomb guards of the next changing of the guard. Ten minutes. Ten While so guarding it is the not tomb, as easy as do it not looks. display rank insignia. It's this is done so as not easy. to outrank yeah. the unknown soldier, whatever their rank may have been. The tomb is guarded 24 hours a day and 365 days a wow, year. Man. So after the evening bolo, no ceremonial changes and walks in battle dress uniforms are performed until the next morning's bolo. Guarding the Tomb In March 1926, the U.S. decided to post a permanent guard over the tomb of the unknown soldier. Soldiers from the nearby Fort Myers, members of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment, nicknamed the Brave Rifles, were first assigned to guard the tomb. At first, they were enlisted only during daylight hours, and served just to discourage visitors to climb on or disrespect the monument. By 1937, guarding the tomb became a round-the-clock job, and on April 6, 1948, the 3rd U.S. Infantry regiment known as the Old Guard was designated as the Army's official ceremonial unit, tasked with guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier. Old Guard Myths 
The Tomb Guard the Sentinels have a bit of an intimidating reputation, and it's all thanks to some pretty fantastic urban myths that have surrounded the Old Guard for decades. Fortunately, we're here to separate fact from fiction. According to one urban legend, Sentinels live for two years in a barracks under the tomb and are not allowed to swear, watch television, or drink alcohol this for the rest of their lives. Fortunately, this is completely false, yes. and members of the Old Guard are allowed to indulge in the occasional off-duty vice. And finally, it was once rumored that during Hurricane Isabel in 2003, the tomb sentinels refused orders to abandon their post, despite the inclement weather and perished in the storm. While it's a cool story, it's also bogus. Oh, okay. While the tomb requires 24-7 guarding, contingencies are in place in case of yeah, lightning, of high winds, or torrential conditions. Yes. This video was so insightful about the tomb of the guard of the unknown soldier and it, it gave us like every information that we needed to know about this and like the thing was the, their day routine and everything like the title of this video was why you never mess with the guard and that part was a very small part only and even in that part we saw like whenever someone was trying to climb up the roof or climb up the railing they were like please go back out of the railing and they were making sure that their voice was heard yes and even when uh, there was no silent like even if they are being little much loud and there is a break of silence mm. they will shout it like uh, it is requested to maintain silence so and that too in a very loud voice that the people over there who is making who are making noise will literally get frightened of them that yes. okay they are being scolded <laughs> And the thing was, all the other things that we got to know, that they, like their daily routine. Like at first, of course, this does not look easy, but it is. it looks easier than what we have saw that UN, US Marine Corps go through, like their training mm. and everything, that intensity that they go through. So I think so if, a full, if you compare with a full-time soldier that lives, in, that lives in a battlefield or somewhere near to a battlefield, like if you compare, compare it to them, then it is slightly easier. But the thing was, when you get to know all the behind the scenes part of it, like they have to get ready in some, uh, some 30 minutes and so, and everybody is like inspecting them and doing all of these things so it looks like very very big and very very daunting thing to do and like the, the thing is like only 20 percent are selected like if 100, yes. 100 people like uh, like try to get into this only 20 people are selected and all these 100 people are already soldiers so they are not normal people that are rejected they are soldiers that are rejected so you have to be very elite and very highest yes office. soldiers are already like trained in this in all these things a lot of times and still if they are getting rejected that means it re literally requires a very different kind of training and it is obvious from the video like the walk even the walk of them the, they uh, you know told about moon walk that requires a different training and there are a lot of myths also regarding these soldiers that they are not supposed to watch tv and everything but after all they are a myth and uh, even i guess they might be allowed to do some other activities as well because it is necessary necessary for them but seriously the the whole routine of these people is really like difficult you know that ev not everybody can do and that's why maybe the pr the fraction of their selection is very less like 20 percent only are selected so it is obvious that why they're selecting so much because it's it's just not an easy job that everyone can do and only 20 percent are selected for training then after that only only a fraction yes. of people are selected or finally so that is the kind of thing so i have a lot of respect for these guys and these guys are doing a, a, an amazing job and even in every weather they are uh, you it's know he said yeah. that uh, at once the they were told not to go but some of them was so no, that was a myth okay that was a myth that they were told not to go and they still go but that is not they, that they can do but they have to confine to the orders. but there was a video still in rainy season yeah. and in while the, there was a snowfall they were doing everything so yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the huge Lit respect to them literally this video was an eye opener this video was really really good so how did you guys find this video let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe to our channel bye, bye.